second corvette built for Pakistan was launched at Damon Shipyard Galati in Romania. The first ship of class was launched in May this year. Pakistan Navy ordered the two corvettes in 2017. They are set to join the Pakistan Navy fleet by the end of this year and mid-2020, respectively. Based on Damon's OPV 2400 design, the vessels are 90 meters long, displace about 2300 tons, accommodate a 90-strong crew, and come equipped with a flight deck and helicopter hangar. The French Navy named the three Lafayette-class frigates selected to receive a midlife update. The three frigates are Lafayette, Corbet, and Aconite. MLU work will focus on onboard computer and electronic systems. The three frigates, out of a class of five ships, will also receive a hull sonar by Talus, two Sadrau close in weapon system armed with MBDA Mistral missiles, and a new combat management system. The DGA selected Naval Group as main contractor for the Lafayette class MLU program in May 2017. It will be carried out in Toulon starting from 2020. The first updated frigate will be delivered in 2021. Britain's newest aircraft carrier, HMS Prince of Wales, has sailed from Rosyth Dockyard for the first time on September 19th. Eight years after her first steel was cut, the 65,000-ton vessel sailed under the iconic Forth Bridges to begin her initial sea trials. The carrier will conduct extensive sea trials off the coast of North East Scotland before arriving at her home port of Portsmouth later this year. Boeing and the U.S. Navy successfully completed the first test flight of the MQ-25 unmanned aerial refueler. The MQ-25 test asset completed the autonomous two-hour flight under the direction of Boeing test pilots operating from a ground control station. The aircraft completed an autonomous taxi and takeoff and then flew a predetermined route to validate the aircraft's basic flight functions and operations with the ground control station. The MQ-25 will provide the U.S. Navy with a much-needed carrier-based unmanned aerial refueling capability. China's first landing helicopter dock, known as Type 075, was launched in Shanghai on September 25th. According to the People's Liberation Army Navy, the new class of ship was domestically developed and constructed. It will have a strong capability to carry out amphibious combat and other tasks. The vessel is expected to have a displacement of about 35,000 tons and a capacity for 28 helicopters. A second ship of the class is already under construction at the same shipyard. While the Type 075 appears to be slightly smaller than the U.S. Navy's LHA, it is larger compared to the French or Spanish and Australian LHD equivalents. It is actually pretty close to the size of Italy's future Trieste LHD. Mm -hmm.